Okay, that's my load. Um, like I said, these cans are actually pretty heavy. A lot of weight to them. Got a lot of that, you know, so figured, well, I was getting bored. Threw them in. I uh, got a lot of glass this time. Like that area is all, all glass, lots of wine bottles and alcohol bottles. Every area is a little different, but what I'm going to do is um, I kind of want this bin here. I'm going to swap it out with that blue one. This one. So I'm going to do. I'm going to bag these bottles up, bring that blue one here, and I'm going to put unload into here. And this way I'm going to have four sitting here all, at all times. And then this way I'll bring everything this way a little closer. It won't be so far out that way. Actually, another another one there too. So I should have five. That will be perfect. I'm going to leave these, 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 these ones here for the bottles itself. Yeah, that would be okay. Yeah, that should work out fine. Okay, so and then we'll do a ball run. Um... We're gonna do glass run. I need another, I was 700, no, 605 here, I think. Was it 605? Some of that. Problem is, um, now I'm gonna have smaller bottles. So I might add maybe two more, two or three more containers. I could, if I had more small bottles, I could still put more, like five in here, five there. You know, I could easily put another 30 more just in this area. But anyways, okay, let me uh, get started here. Okay. okay, so I got 520 out of that and a little bit of the other one too. Okay, so I kind of want to see how many milk jugs I got. Just gives me a rough estimate of what I get. It wasn't a crazy amount, but it wasn't too bad. After all, I just said forget it, just throw it in. Well, it's near the end of the day, right? You kind of want to later relax and head back. So that's why some of them aren't squeezed. So once the van is clear, I'm going to do ball run right away.
I like small bottles because you can put more into those containers. It makes a big difference. The numbers get higher. Scrap one's better. I had one jackpot, it was about a $10 jackpot last night. The rest were just, you know, 30s, 30 here, 30 there. I found these, just kind of rusty. How more just scrap, I would think, HMS. The track here of some sort. This cast actually right there. A couple of screws to pop it off, a little cast end. So this thing here, I'm just gonna cut it. One cut and that's it. When I first saw it, I thought it was actual light lights track. When I first saw it. Screwed aluminum. Not that easy. You cut this one here down. So not too bad. Uh -oh. So I say all those little things like that adds up. If I saw that dirty, then you know I'm kind of losing money, right? It's pretty late here. What is this? Steel. I don't grab every milk jug I see, but I grab, but I, you know, a majority. The, the funny thing is, you see one milk jug, I always find other bottles, you know. So if I don't go for milk jugs, then I'm missing on quite a bit of bottles, which I noticed. Uh, this one here got yesterday. yesterday. In this, gotta love it. It's heavy stainless too, so I found those two jug containers. Was that uh, if people dump so much garbage, it was kind of like a house where they're doing a rental, not rental, I mean uh, a demo. It was junk everywhere, but nothing of value. No, that was the only things I saw there. Someone chucked them out. I said, I'll take them. People are constantly dump garbage of all, all things, you know, that's a problem. That's why I, I, I like checking demo places out. Well, I don't go on the property, but I, on the outside, what the neighborhood dumps there. Because the neighborhoods, the neighborhoods dumping stuff constantly in these places.
I'll grab a crap like this for serving cans. Let's walk again. Stainless. Usually they are. Yeah. Stainless. Pretty heavy. Like steel. Aluminum is dull looking steel. That's one kind of one you have to strip down. Not, I'm gonna sell dirty. This is the kind you can't strip because it's sealed in there. I don't want to cut it. No point cutting it, so sell dirty. Hopefully the camera angle's better, but I know a couple videos ago the camera angle's way out. The band was loose, so I had to, I had to adjust it. The band got loose and then it's all over the place. So if you think about doing bottles, Around where I live, a lot of competition. I'll tell you, you're gonna be really on the on the go, and have luck, luck too, because it's like the bottle guy that hunts that area normally is not hunting that day, or you beat him that day, then you get stuff. Otherwise, some of the streets are 100% dead, nothing, There's nothing of value, and I can't see huge areas having nothing. It doesn't make sense. No, they're. They're aggressively in there, cleaning the streets up big time. Big time. They're professional pickers. Let's look at this thing here before. Cut the video. The Schwinn. Ah. Uh, 
Look at that. It just hit the ground, broke the wheel instantly. Cheap shit. I'm disappointed. But it, it's a stupid system and it's a front brake there. You probably saw a brake and flip over your face. That's probably why it didn't hit them, you know, you don't see it no more. Just like that. You think they would go with some sort of a, a rubber? No, they went with some hard plastic or... Oh well, take the wheel off. But I could not believe it. Having a front brake here. You know, maybe kids is not so bad with, a, with an adult leaning forward. You'll fly and hit your face. It'll go like this, topple over. That's a bummer. It's a good junker anyways, you can see it was chucked out for a reason. But I thought I can play with it a bit. See, it's just like... It's like tar. Looks like tarb. Okay. It's off here. It's worth a little more than the bike, so. Something I want to take off. See, they had a screw on a plastic cap. We could not get it off. Get the hammering that off. You know, like I say, it's not killer killer but you know it's free money but it adds up fast especially cast pay anything better for this but he had a, he had a pile there of some I said hey you don't buy them dirty he's oh I was so busy I forgot he says we bought like a half a dozen but anyways it's that kind you know it's it's a Robertson but a star could work. It's got the edges cut a bit, you know. The corners. to get my wire sold tomorrow been, been so busy doing the spottles and other stuff you know I can't focus one thing I have to do a little bit of everything kind of how this goes if I focus to one thing then I'll be screwed on something else plus I'm still constantly looking for stuff all the time
This is a higher grade wire. Almost came out. Try to be on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna um, clean a few things here. These are things I got last night. Oh, the Blu ray players. Wow, is that heavy? Huh. And I got the controls too. I just wonder if there's any value in the market for that. We have a decent war. I thought they're cable boxes just because of the way they look. The batteries, but I had no cords. No cords. They make good scrap scrap content. This one's dented anyways. They make good, good content. Taking stuff apart, right? Seems like nobody's doing a DVD thing no more. The, even, well, CDs came back, music CDs, but not uh, video CDs. Or DVDs, whatever it's called. They haven't come back. They've kind of disappeared and. a lot to Joe but he said couldn't sell him he said he wanted uh, uh, movies not movies he wanted music he said this is probably gonna be all scrap let's put me over here for now out, out of the rain Just in case someone says, hey, you're crazy. Those are worth good money. Okay, come and take them. Give me two bucks each. Scrap value. Okay, okay. so I've been, I sorted out, uh, I don't know, so many bags here. There were bags all over the place and bags in my van. Obviously, there's 520 here. Um, this is, that's all the new plastic already. See that? New plastic. There's so much, so much in bottle shoots, unbelievable. Look at all the cans there. These are all pop cans. And those add up fast. Beer cans there. So it's gonna be a good payday. Um, priority is to get the uh, bottles. I gotta work on that now. I can't fool around here. I was just getting, you know, not the phone calls and stuff like that. But like, there's so many bottles here. Because I have to stack them like a cordwood. I bought four, four containers. Usually four containers are not bad. Gets me, gets me a good variety, right? Some people say I'm doing it all wrong. One guy said it's a little bit too long. I should do another way, but there's no other way. I mean, when you get lots of bottles, you know the, there's lots of bottles on area. You need the containers, otherwise they'll be rolling everywhere. Just contain it. Probably get maybe two more containers like that one here. The label's gone on this. It's probably homemade. Well, I see you can't tell when you're rifling fast. It's dark, right? Let's look at another one. We've got three. Anyways, no big deal. That's the way it goes. It goes back in a second bin.
It's like people are throwing bags of bottles away. That's how the bag came. What I'll do is I'm going to show you. Just I'm about to show you. I got 45 ready counted and whatever's loose around in here. So not a crazy amount, but there still could be a small amount there. I'll show you. This was really neat here. See, it's a bicycleetta. See now they're bringing the old-fashioned stuff back. They're bringing embossing back, and that's not cheap to put that kind of embossing on that bottle. It's out of Chile. Here's a goofy one, Mount Gay Barbados rum. Kind of different. Uh, I thought this long table gym was cool with the label on the back. See how it's kind of comes through like that. London Dry Gin. Those gin bottles are cool, I'll tell you. They got some cool gin bottles. Will Lang Chun here. That was kind of a cool one. I had this before, but no top, like I said before last night. And here's the one here. It's got the images, characters in here. It's little scenes. Old scenes. Could be an expensive bottle, anybody know? Uh, the second time I found that bottle. Because is it worth, like, is it expensive to drink this stuff? I don't know, but. So that was cool. And then uh, <clears throat> this is just some kind of cooler. Just directly in the bin. It's so light, it really does have nothing in there. And then I got this overhead thing. And this thing sat, no joke, it sat there probably for two months. I haven't that area, did that do that area for at least two months, month and a half, well, over a month anyways, but but I haven't seen that area for two over two months because I don't drive every block you know what I'm saying because there's so many areas you know you're all over the place you, you don't you never remember you just do a route and then you it depends how far you get or how, how full the load is how much scrap there is so, like it's, we're talking about a, a major city you know we're not talking about a small town where you know, half an hour you're done. No, you could drive for hours and hours and hours and still not get everything. And that's just, we're talking about zones that have trash. Okay, so uh, let me uh, see, I have another full bag here. So I actually did, did get quite a bit actually. Did get quite a few bottles or containers and bottles and fire extinguisher I think I think it's empty it feels empty it must have blew it off in your house or something I can pop that off somehow I'll deal with it later it's running short time that's all and everything's super wet there okay so this is it here for now, and then I'll come back later. Hold on. I just want to show exactly what I got for bottles last night. All this here, what it was here. So there's a lot of bottles. Uh, this is the non ferrous type mixture. Dirty aluminum, thing is still dirty. HMS there, drill. Not a lot of uh, cords either, so. Yeah, I went to get that window too yesterday. It's not too bad. You probably sell for like 10 bucks or whatever at the show. Um, I got 103 milk jugs, but also I have, I might have a few little smaller, like this style milk jug in the bags. That I actually no, I don't. Okay, so I had 103 total because so I already cleaned all the bags. Yeah. So I cleaned all the bags out load, so at 103, so that's ten dollars and thirty cents. And then if I didn't take all this glass here, there's probably about uh, one, two, three, four, five. Look and see, four, seven, times seven. So I'd say twenty-five dollars, thirty for sure. Each container for sure thirty, but there's lots of smaller ones mixed in. I'd say um, yeah, twenty-five dollars here for sure. That's thirty-five dollars. 
If I had to take that, that paid for my fuel last night. Just this and the milk jugs. All the other bags and all the scrap is a bonus, right? And whatever here, you know. So it worked out pretty good. Okay, let me uh, tabulation here, let you know stack total here, and we'll get back to you. Okay, 718 bottles. There's 13 here. There's, there's 19 containers plus this, so it makes 20. This is a recyclable one. They re, re, reuse it, rebottle it. So that one's gonna be separate. That I that, that's the one I know, but there could be other ones too. But so clear out the big area, huh? Uh, like I say. So this is what I have left here now, because so I took stuff from here. There's probably about 200 there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe close to 200. And then uh, I like to give it almost all well, this stuff here tomorrow. This would be nice. This aluminum and stuff. Crunch all down. I usually just kind of put stuff like this inside here. And just tra trample it down. Well, all kind of disappears. Something like that. See that? I mean, it's got weight. It's not super light. I mean, it's weight there. Right? Chop them all down, clean what I can. Okay, so we'll dump this now here, stay tuned. A couple of bed frames here. Let's get that weight, wait for the bin. Okay, so I took back that uh, bottles there, 718 bottles was 7180. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to get another load ready, but I want to get some cans. Maybe I'll count them quickly. It's right now uh, close at six. Uh, for another half an hour, or even 50, 45 minutes, I can get at least another, another load ready, and we'll do another scrap or, or bottle run. Okay, hold on. Okay, I have to add some. The mistake on my list here. Okay, well, then I'll leave two bags behind. At 1750, but would have had 90 more. But uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty good load already. That's pop cans here. 350. I have to cram it, I had to go like this, crunch it down like that to get them to. To go down like that. It's crazy how this stuff adds up. Better than scrap. That's why I see these guys do it all the time. You can actually make more money in scrap. This should be 135 right here, if it all fits in. A 520 plastic. That's why I see these uh, old women, they don't take plastic. They take most of the cans because they're lights, because they're so old, right? Well, some have a buggy, some don't have a buggy, but some have just a bag in their hand. I think they go to the cars. 
to actually hit, to take his bag and walk a few alleys to come back in the car. I seen him dump stuff out and I see one guy with a car and he just takes glass. Mostly glass. Maybe he goes to the liquor store or something, I don't know. Maybe somehow that's how they make to get the drinking money. But a small a small car. What can you put into a trunk? Not very much. Okay, that's my load, 1750. Okay, hold okay on. that's uh, load was uh, 175 dollars. So we had 1750 bottles plus seven one three. So today in bottles is 2,463 bottles. I still probably have just as much sitting there. Uh, basically, what I got is uh, uh, 246 dollars and 30 cents. So 246.30. That's exactly what I got today on bottles. So it definitely adds up pretty good. So uh, I actually went in there, it was pretty busy actually. It only had a small narrow area, area. so I unloaded and she says, what do you got? And here's my list. I said, yeah, boom, 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 do them all inside. And because like, I, I mean, um, it's organized, right? They don't do nothing. All that is pre-counted. They just dump the bags into the bins, they're happy. Otherwise, they got to count everything and dick around, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.